Here we are back in the camper. Uh, spring has come, come sort of, uh, still not really here, but it's a beautiful day, so we're going to try and work on the camper a little bit. Um, basically what I've done is, or my wife has done, is unscrewed just about everything that she could take off. So we're down to a kind of a, a shell, actually. Uh, I think the rest of it here is up to me to try and try and get out, but we're gonna give it our best. We're gonna see what's going on. Make sure we. Don't, you know, I really thought I'd just come in and rip it out up in the day, uh, but uh, I can't even find fasteners really. I'm just hoping it's not screwed through the uh, roof. That wouldn't have been very smart, I don't think. Hmm. Well, we're giving it hell. So, just a small update. I guess I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I'm getting just about everything outside. Uh, we're getting down to the bare, bare bones of the of the trailer. this wasn't all supposed to be like this I'm not really sure what's living in there yet I haven't gotten that far um, trying to figure out how to get the refrigerator out I think it's these little knobs but I hate to destroy them if it's not I think it looks like the screws are right behind them uh, let's see I don't think that this is really how you were supposed to shim this um, I would suggest it anyway it seems awful seems awful loose up there and there's nothing above me here but aluminum and the roof is right here so I don't think that's right so there's a couple of screws I found back here in the corners holding it in uh, and then there were the four in the front out of those plugs. Um, I've taken out the, I've taken off the propane connection, and I need to take these two for the uh, the 110. And then I think I can get it out. I think it's going to come out clear. I don't see much else in there that. It's going to cause me much trouble, so, all right, wish me luck. Well, it's been a long time since I've uh, got out to the trailer. Probably, probably two months, maybe a month and a half, I'm not really sure. Uh, I kind of left off on this side, dismantling the refrigerator and those cabinets. Well, uh, not much has changed. There's all the equipment hanging around. I got a, uh, a small hot water tank for the trailer. Tough to go without uh, hot water. But I'm thinking I will get to work on the outside today. So I'll be right back. All right. Well. I'm thinking this is the way you do this, not positive, so give it a shot. Probably should keep as much of that as I can. Of course, the not all the same screws. That would be too easy.
Someone has put sheetrock screws into the window. Gonna be right back. Okay, so it turned out that it was just wedged in with the new, the new plywood that the past owner had put on. And there's the first window. And thank God I didn't damage it. Hooray! Hooray! All right. There's uh, two, four, six, seven, maybe eight more to go. I'll be back. So I'm not sure if this is going to be a problem or not, but uh, right here it's it's a little short of the edge. Um, when I come over the other side here. I'm a little long, so I'm, I'm hoping he's just a little off uh, the restorer before me. I think he, maybe he's just a little off here, and that'll slide over. Uh, just hoping that's not going to be an issue down the road. Uh, it turns out, I mean, you think that there's not much to them. They're basically just a, a plywood box. Uh, strangely enough, there's just nothing here. It's just a piece of plywood and some insulation, some aluminum. So, so coming along pretty well. I've got uh, got most of the windows off. Everything came off way better than the first one that I. It showed you guys. Uh, that must have been the one mismatched window. Uh, the only tip that I can give that I found out is uh, it's advisable to take the inside molding off before you uh, before you attempt to take the windows out. Everything in uh, everything here looked pretty decent but there's certainly a lot of rot still in there it's very rotten uh, I saw in a couple of guys videos that they're amazed that it's just it's just simply half inch plywood uh, with a finished face and then thin piece of uh, of insulation in the metal 
it's about all there is not really sure what to tell you about holding this thing together I think it's just a, a, a flimsy box with some sides on it is really all it is so I wouldn't be too worried about uh, starting this project because I think just about anyone could handle it so down here it's gonna be one of my biggest problems I think because uh, you really can't see it the siding buckled it's rotted the door was all bent up I'm hoping I can straighten this door out uh, if not I guess I can look for a newer one I just tried to want to keep the style kind of the vintage year well not really vintage because 78 but close enough All right. sure feels like rain I think I'm gonna have to get a tarpaulin over it get these last two windows out and again call it a day well I've finished with the windows I've taken uh, all the screws out of the side that I can see and I thought that I'd start working on the the edge the edge um, molding the edge molding has these uh, well came with originally these spiral nails three quarter inch spiral nails but on the side that I've started over here uh, started working on it's actually been put in with I can't really see it with uh, she rock screws so I thought I'd start on this side first because it seemed easiest all right so we'll show you in a minute so I guess the best I can hope for is that I can make this curve work because uh, this isn't gonna do and I checked the price of siding and it was quite expensive in my eyes uh, for a cheap trailer so I'm hoping that uh, oh yeah this is coming off pretty simple and I'm not sure why it's cut there uh, maybe it comes in 16 foot pieces maybe that's the edge point this uh this is pretty bad shape so I think I'm gonna replace it but until I decide to do that I'm just gonna put it over here to the side because you just never know uh, this is uh you know strangely enough I might tell you this front window was shifted over and I guess we didn't line up well because uh, previous owner had bent this over so I guess there is plenty to uh, plenty to shift it back and make it right I'm hoping only time will tell as we start taking things apart this could be uh, this could be the uh, the original muddy pit I'm not positive about that but it's starting to look that way maybe so sun's coming back out I guess I can keep going a few more hours all right I'll be back